Pilot and Sound. Um, this is Ivan Adelchev and I'm here with um, Eric Long at the South Pickleball Courts. Uh, we're going to show you step by step uh, what to do in case of emergency at the South Pickleball Courts. Thank you, Ivo. Uh, so yes, today is Safety Saturday and obviously this is a new area and it's great to have our beautiful South Pickleball Courts in action. Uh, this is a new space for us. Obviously, we had them in temporary form way back when, uh, but now they're permanent and uh, obviously a lot of use. Uh, so really want to make sure this is really regarding any emergency situations with regards to this area and how to get EMS or fire safety within this space. Obviously, behind me, we have the defibrillator and some instructions on what needs to be done in case of an emergency. Uh, well, I'm going to go over step by step here on the certain procedures, uh, but I wanted to show you and Evo when we get over there our utility gate and understand EMS and fire safety have been notified and we worked with the fire marshal and the M EMS uh, control center to go over uh, this specific area and then also just they have this area GPS. So in, in case of any emergency, uh, you're going to say that you're going to go to the South Pickleball Courts and with the address 21820 Soundway is the closest address and uh, notify them to go to the utility gate. When you state those things, uh, they'll take you to this specific area. But let's take you over to the utility gate so we can show you how to open the combination lock. So here are the emergency response protocol for Pelican Sound in our South Pickleball Courts. Uh, this is in the event of any emergency. Obviously, our first step would be to call 911, immediately contact your emergency services, uh, give the location of the South Pickleball Courts. Our closest building address is 21820 Soundway. That's uh, next to the Pelican Sound Maintenance Building. Uh, EMS and fire safety are aware of this location. They have the GPS coordinates but it's always good to make sure that you provide that information and the closest building address. Um, obviously, in case of any emergency, uh, CPR, if that's uh, needed, uh, to provide that information. And then I wanna show you our utility gate and the combination access, which is 4569. Um, obviously, the EMS or fire safety will be able to utilize that, uh, but if you wanna speed up the process and be able to give them the access, you can open up the uh, gate as well, and the combination code is 4569. So we're located at the utility gate. Um, obviously, uh, EMS and fire safety have access to this road, and they can uh, open the combination if needed. But if there is a resident available that's not tending to any CPR and can come over here and open the gate, Obviously, that will aid in the assistance and make it a little bit uh, speedier um, for getting EMS or fire control into the space. So you can see we have a master lock here. It says EMS and fire. Uh, you'll want to make sure that it, uh, on the code you have 4569 and you have that open and then that, that will unlock the lock. And then obviously you can open up the gate um, and then just understand, this is for emergency purposes only. Uh, fire and emergency uh, are the only access into this area. This is not meant for any other use, uh, but we wanna make sure we have a fast, uh, speedy uh, assistance within this area. So we wanna make sure this utility gate is used for the fire and EMS if needed. So another safety tip I wanted to mention is our multi-use path that's located right in front of our South Pickleball Courts. Uh, so obviously we have walkers, runners, bikers, and golf cart owners utilizing this multi-use path. So we wanna make sure that we uh, share the road and uh, obviously we do have um, the folks that are coming off the courts uh, entering into this space for right now, we've added these bollards to delineate people where they're gonna be walking off the court. Uh, we are starting to see some of our members on their bicycles and golf carts uh, going at a high rate of speed. Uh, this is an area that you need to make sure that you're going uh, very slow, no more than three to four miles an hour uh, in this area, 
and ensuring that you're using the rules of the road and making sure that uh, you use uh, proper safety when you're in this area and any area within Pelican Sound, but strictly within the multi-use path, very important uh, to, to travel slowly. And if you need to, stop and wait for uh, incoming traffic as well. So thank you very much for uh, attending to the needs of our, our residents and uh, let's keep it safe here in Pelican Sound. So I uh, hope this was uh, informative for you all. Thank you very much Pelican Sound and have a great weekend.